your ordinary day be like as ambassador in Kabul? Well, in some respects, it's, you know, the sort of day that many, you know, office workers have here. Um, but in other respects, it's, it's totally different. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it depends on what the day will bring. So if there's a, a major security incident as happens from time to time, then uh, my day is filled with trying to uh, best respond to that and communicate what's happened back to Canberra uh, crisply. Um, or it might involve travelling to one of the provinces as I did recently to Herat in the west of the country, uh, which is on the border of, uh, with Iran, and speaking to people there. Uh, Australia and Australians, you know, we take um, seriously our responsibility to um, support a country like Afghanistan and many other countries as well um, for security and to build stability and, and provide livelihoods. And I think as well we don't forget that, you know, what happens in a place like Afghanistan can have uh, direct implications for Australians at home and elsewhere. And we know that uh, many of um, you know, the Jamai Islamiyah um, fighters that were responsible for the Bali bombings were trained in Afghanistan. My best day was, you know, probably my best day and also the most moving day in a way. Soon after I arrived, I went to Tarankot. I got on a plane and flew down to Uruzgan uh, and arrived there and it was a hot and dusty and dry day. Um, but it was a day that was also filled for me um, with, you know, some emotion, thinking about um, the sacrifice and commitment and bravery of um, Australian Defence Force personnel. And Australia had a wonderful project of teaching girls to read in Tarrancot. People still talk about what we did in our Uruzgan, uh, you know, for, for, for young girls and for women. If you look at Afghanistan now and you think where will it be in, uh, or where, where might it be in 10 or 15 years, then what we're doing, we, Australia and others, to provide educational opportunities is what is going to get them there in 15 years' time. My worst day, Louise, I remember it very clearly, was the 31st of May, uh, and there was a very large um, explosion just, well, really very close to the embassy. I was uh, at work, I'd arrived, it was about 8 o'clock, um, the building shook uh, quite violently, it felt really more like an earthquake. Yeah. Uh, and then became apparent that it wasn't an earthquake, there was a, a loud boom. Um, and that was a bad day. So I fit, you know, very squarely in, in the sort of security yeah. um, uh, area. Yeah.